Sniff it. Oh, he's being mean. Oh no, he's being mean. It started. It started. You be okay, nice the door. I can't believe I just got that on camera. Oh my god. <laughs> what they were doing. See, he's starting to smell him. He's he knows. Oh snap. What? It's okay. Sorry, Toto. Oh my god, what a way to start the video. God. Toby, are you okay? <laughs> he's so confused. He's like, well, he's my like brother just what did I do? Bro. It's okay, come here, buddy. Come on, it's okay. Oh, Don't worry. Snap. Don't worry, it's it'll Why be okay. <laughs> Why are you being mean to your brother? Good morning, Marble Squad, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. We're looking a little bit rough. It's the next day. Oh my gosh, yeah, we had a great night with our new kitten. If you did not see our recent video, we purchased our dream cat, which is a full bred Maine Coon. He's a black smoke Maine Coon, literally one of the cutest cats ever. And as you can tell by the beginning of this video, it's going to be a crazy roller coaster of emotions yes. and probably a lot of cat fights. Yes, so we let Scar kind of have the night to himself. So we let him adjust, and I think he adjusted, he's adjusted Oh, really he's been chilling well. in our room. He's been eating, he went to the bathroom, he drank water, he slept and actually cuddled next to me. Yeah. But today is the day we are going to end introduce all three of our cats to know each other. And let me just say, make sure to watch this video all the way through so you can uh, see exactly what happens because as Snapper reacted in the beginning of this video, just from him sniffing, he's actually doing it right now. Yeah, he's good, I'm doing it. That just blanket. from him sniffing Scar's blanket, that's the blanket that Scar has been using the past, two what, days. two days? Yeah. He already is on edge of there being another cat. He can tell there's another cat in the house. He's been looking under the door, fiending uh, for this guy. I'm not ready. And when Snap met Thor, Snap's not a mean cat if he knows like it's just for a, a while, cat. but like starting for the first time, it's very hard. It's just a cat thing. It's not like dogs where you put a dog in the room and they're all excited. No, like cats, like they need time to sniff each other out, feel each other out before they're like super comfortable. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be crazy. Oh my God, Snap, but Snap beat the crap yeah. out of Thor when we first got Thor. So I'm hoping he doesn't do that to oh, Lil Man. He's too little. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Because... We're gonna monitor them. We're not just gonna like throw them in. Like I want him to come out here first, kind of sniff around, and I kind of want to introduce them one by one. Oh my God. But before we get on to this video, as we, you guys read by today's title. We told you in the last video, we had a traumatizing, literally, experience. Mostly for Mariah. Me, I was trying to calm her down, but Mariah had a very traumatizing experience with Scar on the airplane yesterday. And really quick, we just want to give you guys the 411 on what exactly happened because we ran out of time in the last video. Yeah. So, this is my second time kind of like flying alone because we flew, like he went to Vegas, I went to Texas, spent the day on um, the weekend with Madeline and Steven. He went out with his family to Vegas. I was supposed to go, but you know, I had to go pick up the cat and whatnot. So this is like my second time, like kind of like experiencing an airport by myself. So I go into Dallas airport. Dallas airport, if you guys know, is huge. Like it is really overwhelming in Texas. Yeah. yeah. So as I'm going in it is packed like it is so packed to the point where like I'm like stressing out because I have to check my bag I also have to check in scar and it was just a whole mess and this airport This was yesterday. So this was me I flew early in the morning from Vegas to Texas to meet Mariah yeah. at the airport So when I was there Mariah just got to the airport She had to go through the security herself All by myself. because I was already in the terminal from landing from Vegas and this is when Mariah calls me saying it's freaking packed. The airport is just like insanely busy. Luckily, I flo we've flown with Snap and Thor before, so it wasn't like anything new. Like I kind of like done it multiple times where thank God, because I would have been stressing. And I tell you guys, the airport was packed. It was so packed, I was sweating. Like I, I don't sweat, I was sweating. And she had scar. This is not like now she has our newborn cat with her yes. throughout this. I first drop off my, I check my bag, and then I have to stay on this long line, and she's like, honestly, just go into like priority. Like there was a general and a priority section. General was so long, I was like, dude, I'm not gonna make it on my flight. Like this line is so long, people are taking forever. Oh, she put you in priority? Yeah, she just said, like, oh, just awesome. go in priority, and there was no one in that line. Good. So as I'm going up, okay, when I got Scar, he was seven weeks old. When it hit Monday, it, he was eight weeks. So I was still kind of thinking seven weeks when I went up there. Well, when you bought Scar from the breeder, she said, that scar was seven weeks old so yeah. you just you had that in your head i had it in my head so it was like i i didn't really think like okay he's actually eight weeks so as i'm up there i'm like checking him in he asked me how old he is and i go seven weeks because i was just so used to and that's the guy weeks. that takes your id yeah yeah and he was like oh you can't fly today 
And I'm like, what? And he goes, you can't fly today if he's seven weeks old. I was like, wait, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like he's eight weeks. I, I was thinking seven weeks. He's actually, he just turned eight weeks. Because a lot of airlines won't let you fly with a seven week old cat or well, younger. It has to be eight or more. Eight or more. Yeah. Some airlines I think do. This was my first time learning this. So I was freaking out. I, even though I knew he was eight weeks, it was still like, oh my God, is he gonna, is he gonna believe me? Like I don't have his records. But no, that's not the part. No. I feel like you guys might think that's why Mariah was freaking out. This man then goes to say, he was like, are you sure he's eight weeks? Are you sure? Are you sure? And I didn't have his pet records because I had it in my checked bag. I totally forgot, which they don't usually check that. We've always flown Southwest. So I'm like, no, 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 he's eight weeks. He goes, are you sure? Are you sure? Because if he's seven weeks, his eardrums can explode and rupture. And I'm sitting there panicking. I'm like, what? what? The hell? I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't even know that that could happen. And I'm like, oh my God, like, thank God he turned eight weeks. But even like I knew he was eight weeks after hearing that, it traumatized me. So the dude literally was like, didn't even say like any more casual than, well, you know, if he's younger than eight weeks, like you know when you fly, explode. his eardrums will explode. Explode, he said explode. Explode, like his ears are gonna literally like explode on the inside and he's gonna go deaf. He's not gonna be able to hear. Guys, it was the scariest thing of my life. And I was sitting there sweating, I was panicking. Even though I knew he was eight weeks, it still was like, it, it's gonna scare you because then that's all you're thinking about. Like now I was worried the whole flight. No, uh, so Mariah meets me up. She's on the phone with Madeline. She's on the phone with Julia. Um, and she's trying to like figure out like, is he gonna be okay even though he's eight weeks? Yeah. And and we did research and all, some flights actually do allow under Like eight younger, weeks. yeah, some do, but it's so, just like a caution that they take. Yeah, it made me feel a lot better. Yeah. I sort of was like, okay, I'm, I'm relaxed a little bit, but I was still really anxious. So we're, get, we're on, getting on the plane now. We're about to take off. And we're literally I, on the runway. You saw my leg. I was like- Mar No, this, is, this was literally Mariah's leg. Like, like, I was like moving it. Like faster anxious. than this. I, I don't even know how you did that. She was like- I was shaking. Like her leg was like shaking. Because my anxiety was at it all time. I've never around. seen her leg shake like that. She was literally sitting in the chair on the seat like this. Yeah. I'm not even, it was this fast. It was this and then fast. And I, I, then I look over at Mariah's face and I just see tears. Literally a teardrop on her cheek coming down. And I was like trying to breathe because I was she like, was crying. I was so anxious. And I, the reason I was feeling this, is I was so scared. Like I was being a bad mom. Like that, I was scared that something was going to happen to him. And like, all uh, she was thinking about I was just didn't hurt him. us flying up and then his eardrums just yeah, I, this, hurting. Guys, it was the worst feeling. I was bawling. I, and then once I got up there, I calmed down and I like looked at him. He was okay and he was doing good. And I'm like, oh. Thank the Lord, like thank you God. He only like, meowed like once or twice on the good. way up. Yeah. And then he probably fell asleep until like, I, I think until we picked him up when we landed. But for two and a half hours, like the only time he meowed was like really when we, we were, were going, going up, cause, up. Cause it was super bumpy too. Of course the one ride, we had the one bumpy plane. And guys, that was the most scary yeah. feeling of my life. I literally was sick to my stomach. Like even though he was of age, like, it was still like, it was a traumatizing thing to hear. Like yeah. the whole time I was freaking out and then I finally calmed down and I was just so happy. I like literally prayed to God when I landed. <laughs> that dude and I was, literally. Like, Thank you, thank you, thank scared you. Scared the living crap out of her. Yeah. And I wasn't there because I was sitting in the seat already in the terminal. So like, I didn't get to hear what he said, but like the way that and Mariah explained it to me, it's like, I think the Jesus. likelihood of that happening is very rare, but I think well, as a liability, he has to say yeah, that. Yeah, airlines probably have to like, you know, disclose that yeah. because if something happens to your cat, you can't blame them, yeah. you know? And I'm sure cats six weeks and up, I wouldn't do it, but I'm sure they would be fine. I, I feel like if they're like two, three, four weeks, like super young, so, their ears are so undeveloped, then the pressure, yeah. This is pretty much an educational purpose for anyone who is purchasing a cat and needs to travel with him. Just wait eight weeks. Wait eight weeks, please. Uh, from the time that they're birthed. Like, That's I it. am just so blessed he was at age. Like, I really thought I wasn't gonna be able to fly home with him. Like, it was the worst feeling of my life. I'm very thankful. And this is like an educational purpose for anyone who is thinking of buying a cat and traveling with them so well that is one part of the story next is we have to introduce scar to our other cats yeah, this is the and let me good. just tell you right now snap is not gonna have a fun time with this he's not a mean cat but with foreign 
cats that he meets, cats that he doesn't know. He just cats in general. He's just on edge and we promise we won't put Scar in any danger. If we do see something happening, we're gonna be by him the whole time. And Scar, he's Honestly, gonna be I'm sleeping gonna with hold us. Him. I'm probably gonna hold him. Yeah, Scar's gonna be sleeping with us. So Snap, I'm sure, we already cut Snap's nails. So his nails are dull. I'm sure Snap's gonna be trying to swat or yeah. what something. We, what we did with Thor is we kept him in a room at night until yeah. they got comfortable with each other. And then we slowly like let the doors. This is the happiest you're about to see this dude. Yeah, he is dying. Are you ready to meet your brother? You ready to meet Scar Scar? Yeah. <laughs> so what I think we should do, this was Mariah's idea. We should split up Snap and Thor. We should have Scar meet Thor first. I want him to sniff out here first. Like I don't yeah. want to just throw him in with a cat in a big room. Let's put both cats in the vanity room, which is the cat room with the litter box. And then we're gonna have we're gonna have Scar meet Thor separate from Snap, because I don't want them meeting all at the same time. I feel like if they all meet at the same time, it's just gonna be way too much and you already know like Snap is gonna be just beating the crap out of everything he sees. And actually, Snap is gonna get really snippy with us, even because he's so on edge. Like I said, he's the, literally the nicest cat in the world. You've seen him on all of our videos. He's so lovey. He rubs up on everybody. Everyone new in the house, it's just when it comes to other animals, it just throws him off. He did the same thing in Chicago when we had him meet Megan and Jordan's cat. So you already know he's gonna be doing it here. Poor baby's already locked in the room, but I just know. for a minute. It's okay, minute. it's all right. I know, let's see what he's doing. He's probably under the bed again. Yeah. Where are you, Scar? He's probably under here. We blocked it off so many times. This is my laundry yeah. that I just threw against the bed and we have blankets here, but like he somehow still managed to I get under it, so. I don't want him hurting his back. So if he does want to go under there, let's just like leave it open. Yeah. Where's your little booty at? Oh, he's right there. Oh my God, I almost stepped on him. He was so close. <laughs> he's literally so tiny compared to Snap so and Thor. Oh, all right. Why don't you set him down out here? He has not been out of this room. We literally carried him right into this room yesterday, so. He's so confused. He's like, what is going on? <gasps> Go ahead. Where are you? Sniff around. <gasps> what is this place? <laughs> He's like, there's more to life than just that bedroom? What? Whoa. Can you believe we have a third one of them? I know. He's so cute, I love though. Them. I love it. Whoa. The thing I love about Scar is he seems like a super chill cat, so he should get to know the house good. It's just, you know, it's gonna take him a while to get around because he's literally a needle in the haystack. Like, look how big the house is compared to this little man. <laughs> you gonna be a box boy? You gonna like boxes? You'd be like Thor. Yeah, right? What the heck? Oh, I was gonna say. Hey, buddy. Walk around. Mm, he found the office. Thor's dead ass trying to open the door. Did he open it? Wait, no way. That's why the bags moved. Thor's legit trying to open the door right now, Mama Squad. If you didn't know this, our cat Thor is able to open our doors. He literally gets up and opens the doors. Oh, baby. Is that him? Yeah. That's why the bags got knocked off, because the handle flipped over. Like Thor will come up and like go like that. Oh, baby. Thor, you better not come out. It's not your time yet. <laughs> What are you doing, little man? He's the size of my shoes. Hey, buddy. God, he's so little. You being silly, dude. He's so cute. He is so cute. He's gonna be a perfect addition to our family. He is. You already know Snap's sitting in that room, like watching Thor. He's like, come on, Thor. Get the door open. You got this. see outside. He hasn't looked outside yet. Honestly, Scar, come here. It's gonna take him a while to learn his name, but once he learns it, he'll start looking over when we say Scar. I think it's gonna be perfect, because it, it definitely is a name to like look over at. Whoa, where are you going? What are you doing in here? <laughs> oh, dude, his eyes are like so tiny. They're tinier than marbles. I know. Remember when Thor used to go in there? I low-key feel like we should bring him to like a different part of the house. Like what? What? bring him over like in the living room, like by the carpet. He might like that tower area. We are at area number two. See how his tail goes up when he sees me? Yeah, I think you'll like this area better because it kind of has like a cat no, tower. It's carpeted. He, he has a bunch of spots to hide in. I'm sure he's gonna like sit in one of these spots at one point because this is a huge area and he's not used yeah, to it. His tail goes up when he sees me. He's so tiny. He already knows us. That means he already knows us. But once again, his tail is down, so that just means like he's super like he's aware. aware. He's checking the place out. He's unsure. That's honestly what it means. <laughs> Until his tail goes up. Oh wait. Oh, his tail went up. His tail. Oh sorry. Sorry, Scar. His tail went up, babe. That means he got happy. See, he's happy. He's happy. <laughs> 
That means he, he got happy. But you could tell, look at, he's unsure again. He doesn't know where the heck he is. See, this is the area I think he will like. Scar. Oh. oh, he's the king of the jungle. He found uh, Snap's toy. This is actually one of Snap's favorite toys. His ramen. <laughs> His ramen noodles. Thor is gonna meet Scar first. This is gonna be our little, not battle arena, but um, play date spot. Yeah, go grab him, you wanna, I'm anxious. You wanna go on a play date with, so with Thor? He looks mostly like you, except he has browns and you guys are Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. All right, so if he does not growl but hiss, it's it's normal. Oh. Thor, do you see him? You see him? Scar just hissed. Scar just hissed. Oh. Scar! Oh, he's snippy. Is it because he's big? Hold on. Oh, there goes the Okay, hold on. I need to get this close up. Okay, baby. Y'all need to see a close up. Okay. That's Thor. It's okay, it's your brother. You're gonna love him one day. It's okay, Scar. He's not gonna hurt you. All right, grab Snap. You snap really quick. It's okay, buddy. I'm just gonna leave Thor out because he's obviously not gonna come yeah. over here anytime soon. All right, this is the one that I'm super nervous about, and oh I know. Oh god! Oh god! I already know Snap is going to freak oh out, god. so I'm sweating. I am going to keep Snap closer to me because I know he's gonna hiss. He has to. You see him? He's not looking at Snap. Look. Oh, he's off. Oh. <laughs> It's all right, buddy. It's your brother, Scar. Did you hit him? I think a little bit. Okay, I did not expect that at all. <laughs> Snap, it's okay. Oh God, oh God, oh okay, God. Buddy. Oh God, that probably just traumatized the out of him. No, it's oh. fine. Oh. Be good. You okay? I did not expect uh, Snap to get him like that. I thought it was far enough away. Snap's claw was like here. Yeah, we should probably bring him back in the room. Shaky, oh, oh, it's okay. oh, he's too little for this. Okay. Oh, he's like really shaking. Yeah, let's bring him back in the room. Let him go to go to his safe spot because the room is like his one location that he knows is his. Oh, he's hella shaking. Baby Scar, it's okay. It'll be okay. Come on, let's bring him in there. Come on, he's 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 like really shaking. I'm gonna need to watch the video back to see if he actually hit him, but I did not want them to hit, but I knew he was going to swat. I thought I was far enough away, but he didn't get hurt. He just, they're both gonna be on edge. Scar's more on edge than Thor, though. It's okay. It's okay, baby. You know this room. You know this room, huh? It's okay. This guy's gonna hit at me. No, he's not. It's hey. Okay. Bedroom. Yeah. Safe. You're with mommy and daddy We're now. Safe. Okay. okay. He's too little for this, babe. I want to cry. I know. Well, it's because they don't know each other. If they grew up together, it'd be different. It did take Snap and Thor what three days, four days to get to know each other, babe. Yeah. I think I think three or four days. So with Scar, we're gonna just be keeping him in our room. We honestly should probably keep him in here for like a week. Yeah. But like we should probably give them face-to-face -face interaction every day, but not like close together. Yeah. They should just see each other. Cause once Snap, babe, that was the thing. Once Snap knew Thor was not leaving, that's when Snap warmed up. Snap just thinks he's a random cat that's gonna show up and leave. It's all right, buddy. It's okay. Come here, it's all right. You're safe. You're safe, come here, come here. Gotta make sure Snap and Thor's okay. No, but I don't want him terrified right now. No, I know. Like I want him to feel safe. He's not shaking anymore. He's like a little bit, but like he's fine. It's okay, buddy. Why don't you keep petting him? Don't let him go under the bed just yet. Just keep showing him love. Just so he can like know that like we're it's good. Okay. So it's been about five, ten minutes, and he's already calmed down. We got him his blankie back. He's looking good. He started to lick himself. We're petting him. He's sitting pretty right now. Look at it. He's, he's, he's living. Good. Yeah, it's just he's nervous in the moment. And I'm just going to say, we're going to keep him in here for most of the day.
the days and nights, but we are gonna give them face interaction. We're not gonna give them like touch to touch. Maybe we should start just putting the cage, like that number that, did we put, throw that away? Oh, we have it still, I think. Yeah, we I have think a cage that'll go on the door. Yeah, we should do that. So they can see each other through it. That'll be good. So they can see each other, but like if they wanna swat at each other, they can't physically hit yeah. through the cage. Yeah. We should do that because then they can like see each other. He's Once. just too little right now yeah. to be kind of like thrown in. Like typically I'll just let them fight it out. And that's why he's shaking. Think about it. His head compared to Snap's head is like if your head was this big. Yeah. That's like if you had like a uh, 10 times bigger head. Like like that's why he's shaking because he's so tiny. And he's, he's not shaking anymore. He's it defenseless. Just, it just looks like he's shaking because like <laughs> he's trying to stand himself up. Oh, did you, did you like Snappy though? No, he didn't like Snappy. But he will. He will like Scar. Snappy. Scar. What are you looking? Oh, he sees himself. What do you see, bro? Dude, he's literally looking this way. What does he see? You can't even see yourself in the mirror. Are you good? <laughs> oh, maybe he sees me. I think he sees my reflection in the mirror. All right, baby, what are we doing? Show them the, the wall. And the cats are already there, so I'm super scared. Oh, oh my gosh. This is a good, wait. This is so good. Wait, hold on, they're doing so good. <gasps> what is going on? Why didn't we do this in the first place? It's okay if he hisses. This is actually good. I didn't even think about doing this. Look at him, look at him, look at him. He's a Halloween cat. He's a Halloween cat. <laughs> It's okay though. And also, I feel like a good way to introduce them, even though they're gonna be hissing and, you know, hopefully not smacking, but smacking, is talking normal, right? You're wondering if we're filming this way. A big way we introduced Snap and Thor is by doing something like this, talking normal and going, oh, it's okay, it's okay. he's a baby, like just talking normal and then giving them their wet food. And every day when we would give them their wet food, we move closer and closer to one another until they start eating next to each other. And once they start eating next to each other, it's done. They're best friends. This That's is really good. I didn't even it. think about this. I knew Thor was going to be the easy one though. Yeah. Look at, even though they're unsure, oh, he's not shaking, but he's definitely like a little nervous right now. Oh. oh, look at him. It's okay, Thoe. It's your baby brother. Oh, and also playing with toys helps a lot, like having toys around and stuff. Can you smell a toy? I'll put the toy here. Put the little ball here. You want to distract them so they're not really oh, focused on Oh, this is great. I didn't even think about another. doing this. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yes, by the way, if anyone's commenting right now, can't they just jump over? Yes, they can jump over. So we have to still watch out because Scar's not going to do that, but Snap and Thor can definitely jump higher than this, which we want to avoid because that would probably be bad. <laughs> but they're doing good, right? They are doing good. Oh, oh look at those. Where did Snap go though? All right, so I snuck over on the other side because I want to like kind of pet Thor and look at you. Look at these freaks. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys can see a size comparison. Oh my, he literally looks like a black furball. He does look like a black furball. <laughs> he doesn't even look like a cat right like, here. He looks like the scary Halloween ghost. But they've just been staring at each other. It's been about five minutes now. They could easily see each other. This is what Thor's seeing right now. So they can easily see each other through this. He's not and shaking. I don't know if he, Thor's gonna be like, He's not shaking. Oh, He's Thor's good with me. Look at, look at, look at. He's not on edge with me. Guys, so Snap literally came over here by himself and was looking at Low Man for like a couple minutes. Hold on, let's see if he does it again. Snap, come here. All right, so Snap won't come, but Scar is over here. I think Snap knows that. They're so close, but so far. We can literally see them both, Mariah. Oh, he just... <laughs> That's his new safe spot. He's going psycho mode. We should just keep that open then. Yeah. Now that we know he can get back out. Because he used to go under the bed yesterday and he didn't know he could come out. <laughs> Oh, look at all the cats. All the cats. We're gonna all do together. I know. One day. Oh, it's their buddy. Look at Thor's good. They might hiss a little bit still, but Thor, he's been coming right up to it. No, he doesn't know. No, no, wait. Now he knows. Now he knows. Hi. It's okay, baby. His tail's up, look. Oh, oh. Oh, it's the first time they've done this. Oh my god. He's a baby. Yo, that was actually that insane. Was That's big. Snap, you gotta get on those level because he just kissed Scar and you're laying here looking all lazy. Oh, oh my gosh, dude, they're actually doing so good. See, they love each other. Oh, oh, Toto, you're being sweet. What's going on, Scar? Dude, they're good. They are 
are doing That's really big moves. Good. And look at back in the bed. Oh. Wait. He just, like, oh, yeah, I know. He's like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up to Thor, and then I'm gonna go back in bed so I feel safe. Marvel Squad, I don't know about you guys, but the progress we made just on day one, like, let me just tell you, Scar has not been here for more than 24 hours. I'm just gonna say, best kitten award goes to Scar. Because Out of our he three really kittens, is yes. The best little kitten I've ever had. Right after Snap smacked him in the head, he just went in the room. He was shaking a little bit, but he went and started eating. He used a litter box. Like he didn't even care. Look at the, look at the way. Like this is just perfect. This is great. like they haven't even been here. They've been here for like 15 and hours. Look it, I thought of putting this up. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be. Come on. Teamwork. Makes Boom. Teamwork. teamwork. Now, Ryan, do you want to know what we should do next? What? Not in this video, but uh, tomorrow when we feed them their wets, we should feed Thor's here oh. and Snaps here. Should we? And then little man, we should put like feed them like all three at the same time. Yeah, so then they can start that. getting used to being by each other and doing stuff by each other. But yeah. Mob Squad, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was as crazy as I thought. Um, if we kept Snap and Scar in the room, it would not be good. So we're taking it step by step, taking it easy. But right now, just this progress, like Thor wants happy. to go in the room. I'm very Look happy. at him. I know. He's literally just like wanting to figure out what Scar is doing, and Scar is not that scared of Thor. Oh, he's got a carrot. <laughs> Um, right. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. We will keep you up to date on the process with them throughout all of our next videos. And for all of you watching all of our videos, make sure to turn your post notifications on so you can see Scar and how he grows up and matures throughout the guys, day to day. Be insane. We thought he was gonna be small and grow up slow, but look, he's already the size of Snap. He's Scar, he's gonna be the same way. So we have to savor him while he's young and tiny. You know, cause this is our last like kitten we're ever This is our last have. kitten until, until maybe our future sure god forbid if anything happens to one of these yeah. um little lads but, but as of right now like we gotta soak it in because i feel like they grow up so fast and like <laughs> thor and snap like grew in the blink of an eye and yeah. i just like that's why i've been in here all day because i just want to soak in this time but thank you for all the support with our new kitty i hope you guys love him as just as much as we do he's freaking amazing and gorgeous already <laughs> I know. But we will see you all in the next video. But until then, peace. peace. Love, Love you guys. guys.